Let me set the stage. Uh, your mother's doctor has a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you and, and tells you, you know, you've done your best, uh, but your mother is in a situation now where she really is going to need more of an assisted living or nursing home setting. Well, you feel terrible. Well, you feel guilty. So what do you do? You go out and you find the best nursing home you can find. You research it, you visit it, you talk to the staff, you go visit uh, and see the patients. They, they look, these residents and patients, they, they look uh, healthy, they, they look like they're being taken uh, care of. And you, you, you have your mom um, check in. Now you've gotten a call. Your mother fell. She was unattended and she fell. She broke her hip. Is that a case? Well, there might be. What you didn't know is that when your mom got brought into that nursing home to begin with, and then what's supposed to happen regularly as her condition changes, is she's supposed to have a fall risk assessment. And based on how risky it is likely that she is to fall, uh, they're supposed to implement specifically regulated things to protect the patient from falling. That can include bed alarms or restraint or simply having any, uh, an accompanying uh, person or two uh, walking, transferring, and well, how you transfer them from bed to chair, those sorts of things, all regulated by the fall risk assessment. What I find generally is that when a patient falls unattended, and particularly when they then stay there for some undocumented period of time, that is a failure to follow the fall risk guidelines that they themselves evaluated your mom to be at. The second thing that we have that, that's useful if you're not sure whether there was a violation is actually the State Department of Social Services because our state investigates nursing homes and daycare facilities and those sorts of places and they will investigate falls caused, unexplainable falls caused in nursing homes. If you contact the State Department of Social Services, they will begin an investigation. And these investigations are thorough, and they will visit the site, and they will question folks, and they will do the sort of discovery that I can't do without suing uh, the, the facility. And they make hard determinations, and they don't, they're not afraid to say that the nursing home violated by never doing a fall assessment, or they violated the regulations by doing a fall assessment and then largely ignoring it. The other thing you need to understand about nursing homes is they've been bought up by big mega corporations. And one of the first thing they're doing is they're taking those long, well-paid, long-standing employees and they're replacing them with cheaper help and fewer of them. So what I'm seeing in my practice is a greater influx of folks that inexplicably are depositing their, their loved ones in facilities that they have every reason to believe will take care of them and maybe for years did take care of them and suddenly you've got a bunch of unsupervised unattended falls with really grave injuries and so not supervising somebody who falls is both a violation because it violates the regulations about the fall assessment but it also would be usually a number count of employees per patient that we usually find a violation too. So the simple fact of the matter is, by the information I know right now, your mother fell unattended and has hurt herself. You need to take it to the next level. And if you have questions about that, we're always here to help. For more information, contact us at 303-782-9999 or go to our website at andersonhemmett.com.